Hey guys, it's Jen here from JenAroundTheWorld.com, a website dedicated to helping you live your life to the fullest, one adventure at a time, whether that adventure takes you on the road or you're in the kitchen creating a new recipe. Today, I wanna to talk to you about creating a no-spend month to help you boost your travel fund. So I get asked all the time, how can you afford to travel? I'll be honest with you, I love traveling. It's one of my favorite things to do. And yes, you need money to travel. Now, guarantee some of my trips are sponsor trips, which means that tourism companies have invited me or me and my family to come and visit their area and they take care of everything in order for me to have a great time. Those are nice because I'm not out of pocket any money. But what about the trips like the one that's coming up in February that I'm taking with my girlfriends that I am completely paying for myself? How can I afford to do that? Well, one of the ways that I do that is by, is by creating a no-spend month for myself. Now, what is a no-spend month? So basically, what a no-spend month is, is you dedicate one month, 30 full days, to not spending any extra money. Now, we're not talking about groceries and bills and gas, things that you need. We're talking about things that you want or things that are not necessary. For example, if you work outside the home and you are a coffee drinker like myself, you may drink, you know, four or five lattes a week. Well, if you start adding that up and you pay like $5 a latte, you can get to where you're spending like 30 bucks a week on coffee. So what if instead of buying your coffee, you take that money and set it aside and put it away somewhere where you can't see it and keep that until the end of the month? Now, I will be the first to tell you that when I first did this uh, several years ago and I cut out my coffee, I was shocked at the amount of money I saved because I really hadn't paid in that much attention to how much I was drinking. But you know, $5 a cup of coffee adds up. So that's when I taught myself how to make um, Starbucks types coffees, excuse me, Starbucks type coffees at home. Uh, we started experimenting and we come up with caramel macchiato and three alarm coffee, which is spicy, but so good. Like there's so many different versions that you can come up with. So try to, you know, cut back on certain things. So now let's talk about what things do I need to cut back on now? Like I said, we're not talking about groceries. Groceries are a given. The bills that you have to pay are a given. You can't cut out credit card payments. You can't cut out your car payment. Can't cut out utilities. You can't cut out your cable for 30 days. But I mean, that's just if you're going that drastic. But what I'm really talking about are things like clothing, shoes, jewelry, your Amazon shopping, your coffee, any of those things that are considered um, just expenditures that you would normally spend money on things that you splurge on those are the things i'm talking about you can take those things and turn those into money that is saved and i guarantee you at the end of 30 days if you do this you will be completely shocked and surprised at how much money you actually save um, from doing this and if you want to talk about a great way to boost your travel fund that is one way to do it now, another thing that you can do is you can start paying cash for everything during that 30 days. And say you round up, so if you go, you know, buy groceries and your groceries are $30.25 and you give them $35, then all your ones and the change stick in your change jar and use that money at the end of the month um, to boost your travel fund as well. A few years ago, I did this and the results to me were staggering. I could not believe that I saved literally $300 in one month on different things. We cut back on our grocery bill. We didn't buy a lot of the junk food that uh, we normally buy. I cut out my coffee intake. I quit going out to lunch and dinner with friends for 30 days and I couldn't believe the difference. Like the $300 was a lot. Now for me, that will completely pay for my trip that is coming up this week because or coming up in February. The girls and I that are going, we split the cost of everything and I, my cost out of pocket is $200. So the thing of it is, is if you want to travel, you have to find a way to make it happen. And the way that you do that is just cut money in different places and put that money back. Don't spend it. If you want to travel, you can find a way to travel. 
Don't say, I can't travel. I don't have the money to travel. I don't have, I'm, I can't afford to travel. That's not true. If you can afford to buy a cheeseburger and french fries from McDonald's or Wendy's, you can afford to travel. If you can afford to buy a $5 coffee from Starbucks three times a week, you can afford to travel. It's just wherever your priorities are. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. Okay, I'll stop being bad. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. Those are my tips. Um, if you create a no spend month, really what that's gonna do for you is that's gonna boost your travel fund. Now that's not gonna give you everything you need for your travel fund, but it is going to put a huge dent in the beginning of it. And if you're like me, when I have some saved, it's easier to start adding more to it than if I have nothing saved. And then um, what we do with our change jar is at the end of the year, uh, whatever money is in that change jar we use to fund our our vacation fund so a lot of times we'll have six seven hundred dollars in that jar which is enough to pay for the food when we go out to eat or uh, things that we want to buy when we're there but there are ways you just have to you know be strategic about how you're doing it get creative find ways to do that also when you do a no spend month what this will help you in the way of your groceries is you don't need to buy a ton of groceries use this as a time to clean out your pantry clean out your fridge clean out your refrigerator get creative think of some new recipes if you can't think of some new recipes there are a ton on the internet um, to help you do that I created one the other night using my cookbooks which sit over there and collect dust a lot of times because I always run to the internet or to Pinterest. But I found a recipe in one of my Pioneer Woman cookbooks for sweet and sour meatballs, which was perfect. I served it over pasta. It was a really great meal and used up several things in our pantry to where I didn't have to run and buy groceries. Normally our grocery bill runs about $400 a month, um, but for right now I've only spent about 150, so I've spent half of what we normally spend, which is really awesome. And we are into the 10th of the month, 10th or 11th I think now, so yeah. You can find ways to save money so that you can travel. You just gotta be creative, just, just be creative. You can do it, I have faith in you. So you guys get busy, create a no spend month, make some plans, make some changes, cut down on the groceries, stop drinking that cafe coffee for 30 days, make coffee at home, and you can travel too. So I'll see you guys next week with another great travel tip and you have a blessed day.